Howdy folks, welcome to episode 59. Today we are going to try out the Treonator and see if we can get this to do what I want it to do. So I will try it out here and we're gonna, where's the, there we go, download. All right, and so I'm gonna get this installed <laughs> and, and we're gonna try running it. So I just wanted to show you the website and the download link in case you want to use it too and I'll be back in just a second all right here we go so here is the treenator it's installed and then we're gonna do slot 5 and we're going to do um, smart trim world so what it does is it replants everything and then it um, trims trees around all everything so we'll try that and distance from track let's try 10 meters we're gonna try 10 meters so we're gonna see how this works like I said I, I haven't tried this yet uh, this I'm like trying this live <laughs> so um, now do we go back and exit okay let's see it did it save yeah see it changed the file date on it so Yep, and the file size is different. All right, so we're gonna try loading this up and see what happens. Let's go like this, and I'm gonna load this up and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, we're back in. Okay, why did the tree thing do that? Did, why are they, <laughs> they're like launched everywhere, huh? wonder what's up with that that was weird okay well I guess I get to re-rail everything but let's <laughs> there's one over there let's run along and see what the tracks look like here just out of curiosity oh yeah it's nice and clear I just went flying yeah I think if you jump okay and let's see what this looks like our little loop here yeah, it looks like it looks like it did a good job with the loop. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to clear all our switches up to. I wonder if I run really fast and jump over that. What I can do. Okay, we need to clear our switches to the. Yep, to here. So we're gonna go that way. That's right. We're gonna come up here. It looks like it did a pretty good job as far as where it cleared and stuff. This switch is gonna be this way. That's right. This one's going to be this way. Okay, and this one here is, is going to be that way. Okay, so let's get our engine on here first. I know we put fuel in it, right? Can I open it? <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, so let's re-rail. Oh, no, 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 not demolish. Re-rail. And put this back here. Did it? No, it didn't take. Okay. Rerail. Can it? There we go. There's our cook mogul. All right. And why don't we? Yeah, we're just going to do it like this. And then rerail. Tender. Make sure the tender's actually on the same way am I trapped there no nope. okay is that is that right yeah that looks right okay so let's go like this we're gonna do this too as long as we're over here doing this stuff all right and then we're gonna put our thingy on there and we're going to put a thingy on the front one. We're going to put them on all the front ones. Okay, so re-rail this. If it'll let me. Is it going to be able to find the bombing boss on this one? Is it going to do it? 
I don't think it's going to let me. Oh, man, that sucks. There we go. Flat, flat car. All right. So, flat car. <laughs> nice. All right. And let's get this. Just settle down, would you? Settle down, Francis. All right. Is it going to... Okay, it's not going to knock it off the track. All right, that's what I... I didn't want it to knock it off the track. All right. Now, I normally would do this offline, but I I think we're at the point where it's like... <laughs> it's it's time to do the this stuff on camera because it's not like we have something super exciting to do that we're, you know, trying to get to or whatever. So we're just going to have fun with the process today of, you know, playing the game. Rerail flat car. Let's see if we can... Is that going to launch that one? Okay, no. All right. And there we go. All right, can we... Will it... I think it is. I think it did. Cool. All right. And then we're going to get another one up here. Flat car. There we go. We're going to put that up here. <laughs> I don't know why it decides to do... I don't know why it decides to do that. Sometimes it decides to put them in really bad positions, right? I'm hoping I can get it on this hill. There we go. All right. Apparently this hill goes the other way. And re-rail, flat car. Let's see. That one already has the hook on it. All right. There we go. All right, so we're going to hook these two. And then we're going to let all that smush itself together. And we're going to get this one while that's going on. There we go. Can we get it in there? No, we're not going to be able to fit it in there. Okay, let's put it back up here. Does this one have a... Whoops. There we go. Let's get this one on the track. Try it again. Try that again. Come on, you can do it. There we go. <laughs> Maybe you can't. All right. I just want to get it on the hill. There we go. All right, let's see if that'll do it. I think once we get back to the, yeah, the I, what do they call those, the frogs or whatever? If we can get that to, really? I guess not. <laughs> once, if you can get it to come over the switch, it will, uh, it will re-rail itself correctly. You know what I mean? Those little, I think they call those frogs. I thought I heard that being used. Okay, let's see if it'll do it this time. See if we can get it to hook on. These flat car models are different. Have you noticed that? They changed the flat car models. All right. And there we go. Hook that one. These two are hooked. This should get hooked. There we go. And then did it? No. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. All right, we're going to um, and we're going to go reverser at one percent and or two percent. It is going to go backwards, right? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Is it is it stuck? That's weird. 1% is it it's not like the track is curvy or anything right it's not like these are off the track either okay so we'll make sure that we have everything ready to go let's there we go did it there we go it's at four percent now let's try this what is it doing Here, let's see. There we go. 
Oh, am I on a, just a, like the slight, slightest hill or something? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, let's get this hooked in. Can we... I can't find it. Let's see. Can we get that hooked in? Is it going to... It's not going to do it, is it? Okay, well, let's get these other ones set up. Make sure that we got them. I think it's... No, it's not going to push it, is it? What is it doing? Why is that one <laughs> going all the way that way? Okay, let's put the brake on this one then. Just so that we can back into that gently and then and then do our thing. Okay, so I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to push this. All right, and then I don't think we're going to be able to get that pin in there. Yeah. Oh, it's the wrong pin. That's why. Okay. All right. We're just going to have to, once we get this backed up, once we get this backed up to where we need to go. Okay. Let's go like this. Put our pin in. All right. And that's, that's everything. Okay. How many cars do we have? One, two, three four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's right. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to put the brake on this and we need to go forward again. We're going to stop on here. We're going to go forward a little bit. All right. And then we're going to take that. All right. And then we're going to go like this. We're going to go reverser. There we go. No, 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 no. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay. So everything should be good. Let's double check. Let's go brakes. Let's turn the brakes off on this one. And then we need to turn the brakes off on car number four brakes. Let's make sure none of the other brakes are on because we'll find out when we hit a corner and then we have to spend the rest of the episode re-railing everything, right? Zero percent, zero percent, zero percent. Okay. Anyway, there we go. Um, and that is back at zero percent. Okay, cool. So we are good. Let's pull the train forward just to make sure that everything is connected. It looks like it's connected. So we're going to reverse. And we're going to reverse and then stop again, just so that we make sure. And then we're going to brake really hard. OK, nope, nope, the cars are not coming off. All right, cool. So it looks like we're good. Looks like we are good to go, and we did all the switches on the way up. So, there we go. We're coming through town, right? Cool. So, yeah, we can uh, head up to the, the log thingy, the logging camp. And once we get there, we can load up our cars and bring some logs down to the thing. <laughs> finally right we're finally back to actually playing the game okay well, putting the trains back on the tr on the track is part of playing the game I don't know why it did that I would not have felt bad about you know reloading or whatever but I'm suspecting that uh, something happened with the uh, the trees where maybe it positioned something I don't know yeah, I don't know. I did some kind of... It acted like there was a collision um, event. That looks like the good... Yeah, I could see I could see 5 meters being a thing, but actually I think this 10 meters is perfect for what I want. Because you can bring the camera out and you don't end up with the camera getting smushed in all the trees and stuff like that. So I think that's a good way to do it. All right, we're going to come up this... And we're going to... 
come around this corner. Hopefully our... I believe we fixed this corner, so it shouldn't be too bad. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? <laughs> we might be doing more re-railing. It might just be a whole episode of re-railing, right? <laughs> Alright, we're going to slow down. Because we want to come around this corner as at a slow speed, not at breakneck speeds, right? Hit our bell again. We do not want to comp come to a complete stop either and then try to push them around the corner. We want them to go around the corner on their own momentum. It looks right. Yep. Looks good. I think we fixed it. I think we did fix the the corner before. Okay. All right, and then we need to come forward a little bit, I think. Let's go like this. That should be good. All right. And let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. And what do we put, nine on each of these or six? I think it's six. It's six thingies. Yeah, it's three, two, and one. The pipes are the nine. Okay. All right, and I think I can even... Uh, I think I can even use the auto clicker. Let's see. Nope. It's got a different, it's apparently it detected a different profile. I think it told me that, um, it told me to the detected X plane. I'm not sure how it got to that. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> whatever, right? Okay. <laughs> So I yeah I'm not sure I didn't look and see if the uh, if that thing does other um, if the treeinator do also does other like ch you can change your saves the other elements of your saves like put cargo on your on your uh, uh, on your trains on your cars <laughs> I can't word today apparently all right at least we're at this where if I screw up and click one too many times I haven't wasted anything all right let's go like this we're gonna pull this forward and let me see here do we have a measure on this I don't think we have a way to measure this do we I don't think there's anything we can use as a measurement all right let's go like this we're gonna do this so that when we let off the regulator, it just stops. And there's one. And then we're gonna go a little bit more. Keep going. There we go. Okay, see how that looks. It feels like they're coming off the rails, but it doesn't look like they are. Okay. No, they're just acting like they're bouncing. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll get all these loaded up and we'll bring them down to the to the thingy. And is this? Yeah, that switches the right way in case I go in case I go past that. All right. Um, let me see here. Apparently one of them's turned around. <laughs> Slowing from the other side. Yeah, the brakes on the other end too. Apparently. The last three are backwards and the other three are forwards. I'm not sure what criteria it uses because we put them back on the thing, right? I mean we re-railed them all. I don't know what it does when it re-rails if it tries to put the front facing forward or if it tries to put it whatever way it was last. I don't know if there is a last or if it's just the closest to what its current orientation is. You know, which which facing takes the least amount of rotation, I don't know. But it would be fun if they had the crane, some kind of crane vehicle or car or something like that. 
that you could use to to do the re-railing. That in this. <laughs> the re-railing in this thing. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to load up this. We're going to attach this. All right, there we go. And we're going to stand here and do we have, there we go. All right, we're going to go like this. We're going to put our map up here. We're going to open controls. There we go. Let's get our map out of the way. And then we can go like this. Is it going to roll on its own? Yeah, I kind of figured it would. Okay. We're just going to let it roll on its own. I thought I remembered that being a little bit of a downhill there. So yeah, we'll let this go up the track on its own and then we can worry about, there's one, one and a half. All right, there we go. Okay, I think we got it. Let's see if we can you know what would be cool is if that thing could trigger these <laughs> and load them, right? Just, it just detects that there's a car nearby that needs to be loaded or whatever. You have like an auto load switch. Although that should be, again, that should be built into the game. <laughs> that shouldn't be something that you need a mod for, right? But, you know, they've got other things they're working on. I think these cars feel wider. Maybe they're shorter, I don't know. They feel like they're not as long and skinny. Like that. Don't they? Maybe it's just the way the, the boards are broken up on... Because I don't think the ends were like this before either. I think they were solid all the way across. I think. But yeah, they just... Well, they don't seem wider now from... They don't seem wider, they just don't seem not as long. I don't know. But then the logs would probably look like they were hanging over the ends. It's probably an optical illusion because of the way this breaks up this, the wooden pieces and then the metal and then the wood again. I think it breaks up the the length of the the visual length of it. Anyway, we are in the last logs. There we go. Last logs. Alright. Let's get moving. And we'll just let the brake. All right, hit our bell. We're going out of town. There we go. And just let this coast its way down the hill. Imagine doing that with like 20 cars, right? 28 or whatever it was. Imagine trying to do that corner. I don't think that corner would last with 28 cars. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. Here we go. Now we hit the roller coaster. We hit the real roller coaster, right? All right. <laughs> it's a fun one. I don't know that corner at the end of the that corner at the end of this log run is really really bad. It's super sharp. It's sharper than any of these engines can take. Um, I think everything except Betsy just goes flying off the tracks when you try to run around that corner. So I should probably do something about that corner. Rebuild it or whatever. Maybe try to reconnect it to the other track going the other way or something. To make like an oval around the... Instead of turning... Instead of turning right when we come off of that, turn left. I think that would work well. All right, let's get some regulator going here. So we are gonna go up a hill here, I think. There we go. And then this is coming back down a hill again. I think this little cook is perfect for this job too. It's perfect size for that. It's it's powerful enough to pull these without super struggling and 
All right. Let's get our brakes going here. We come into town a little bit more gentle. <laughs> right. All right. And yeah, we never turned off the bell, but we're so close to town on either end, right? Go. They changed the water texture or something. Either that or my gra my graphic levels are different or something, but I swear it feels like they changed the the water somehow. All right, we're going to. We're going to break just enough. There we go. All right. So we've got, I think, most of them on there. Let's get these unloaded. And let's see what we've got here. Nice. We got 50,000. Cool. And did it. Did it take? It didn't take. There we go. It's so weird and picky about where it's going to do stuff. All right, we got to pull forward anyway to get the last car, so we're just going to do that. Yeah, see, this track is really... I, I don't know. I think we fixed it. For, to, to some extent, we fixed it anyway. I think we did like put in a circle, put in an auto circle or something like that onto it. But it's still, it's just killing the cars. So what I'm thinking is we might try coming out a little bit here and then turning to this way to meet this track. But the thing is, in order to do that, that's going to be ha have to be sharper than this turn. So I'm not sure if that's even doable. But let's just get this, let me get this unloaded. See what we can do here. And you know what we didn't do? We didn't do that. Let's see how far we can move this. There we go. Try to get both of these cars onto the loading area. Man, that's scary. <laughs> And it's close. All right, there we go. Let's try that. See what we've got. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's more than we needed. Come on, you can do it. All right. And that one. There we go. Is it using them all up now? I think it's, I think it's already used all of them, isn't it? hasn't it? All right. No, it's got... No, it's still using them up. Let's see what we've got over there. Whee! Aw, oh, it, didn't, it didn't make me jump. It just dropped me back down. 70 of 100. 98. Okay. So watch. Let's see if we can go like this. Now we're going to go like... Where's the... There it is. We're going to go like this. Aw, uh, I didn't do it. I wanted to hit a thing and jump. Let's see if we can jump. <laughs> it's not doing it. No, nope. okay. That one that we where we hit the thing and it just zoomed. That was hilarious. Yeah, I can't get it to happen. Alright, so you know what? I'm gonna try pulling this around this corner and see if it'll make it. Let's do this. I just want to test out this corner. So let's get this other switch too. Just so that we don't, if we overrun it or whatever. And I'm going to save too before I do this. Because it's not like, yeah, it's not like I need to, um, <laughs> it's it's not like I need to re-rail this if, if we screw it up. All right, let's try going around this corner. I want to see if we can make it around this corner with these cars or if it's just going to be a big mess. So. All right, I don't think we even need any regulator, do we? Let's give it 2%. Let's see what it does. And we're going to jump out and look. 
I'm gonna watch these guys. It seems to be doing okay. They're not they're not like popping off the track here or anything. No. They're not doing anything horrible. Okay. No, I think maybe we did fix this. That's when it's just gonna go boom, right? Here. Let's go like this. Yeah, it seems like it's it seems like it's working okay. Let's come all the way out and then we're gonna go all the way back in and park again. So I just wanted to test this out. We're gonna come all the way past the switch and then we'll go back. Just so we can make sure we can get through the straightaway and then come back around. I don't think that's a corner where you can go at full speed, but <laughs> right. I don't think that's one you want to take at full speed. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're on. Let's go like this. And we're going to go 4%. I think we were on a slight hill or something. Because it sure seemed like it uh, was really going. It was picking up a lot of speed at 2%. Let's go back down to 2% again. We'll just see what happens at 2%. All right, we're going to go back here and watch. Let's go like this. There we go. We can see what's happening. No, it doesn't look like it's... Yeah, this is the sharp part, though. This end of this curve is the really sharp part. We'll see what it does now. It looks really smooth, though. Wow, we're picking up a lot of speed, too. Yeah, it seems like it's going to do okay. It's, it's, it's not bouncing or, you know, squishing or anything like that. Because it does, it does kind of, at least it used to, it, it acts up before it actually comes off the track. So. And it's not doing any of the things that it normally does before it actually uh, derails. So, I think, I think we've got a good corner there. Alright, so... That is going to be it for episode 59. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Join me in episode 60. I think we will... Um, yeah, we're going to leave that corner alone. I, I'm going to look around and we'll maybe see what other building we might need to do. Improvements, maybe some of this stuff. Or uh, maybe we can do another run up to one of the things, the iron mine or the coal mine or whatever. But yeah, that's going to be it for episode 59. Join me in episode 60 and we will see you then. Later. Thank mm -hmm. you.